Hello, baseball fans. Hope everybody's doing awesome out there. Hope everybody has a safe 2021 as well. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do so. We're a new YouTube channel, so the best way we can grow is your support by hitting subscribe. So, I was finally wrong on a prediction. That's right, Ha Sung Kim is going to the Padres, and boy did the Padres really load up. Ha Sung Kim, Blake Snell, Yu Darvish, wow, they're going to be dominant next season. And I'm a little bit upset about the Jays' impatience on Ha Sung Kim, although they said it was a little bit about weather. Even a little bit more upset about missing out on the Yu Darvish trade. And that leads me to my vlog today, and I think it's inevitable now that Francisco Lindor is coming to Toronto. You can see my enthusiasm. Nothing against Lindor. He's an all-star player. The skinny on him, if you don't know. Last season, if you would have stretched it out over to 162 game average, he would have hit around 270, just a little bit north of 20 home runs, and just under 20 stolen bases. A little dip in his average production, which is usually around 275, above 30 home runs, and above 20 stolen bases. What makes Lindor even more exceptional is his ability to play shortstop. He's one of the elite defenders on the infield. And not only does he earn you runs, he also makes you runs. So those two things combined really is dynamic for any team that can pick up Francisco Lindor. The only reason why I'm not bullish on him for the Jays is simply because he's going to come as a one-year rental. And the Jays just aren't that type of organization yet or that's going to be able to push to a World Series run. We're probably going to make the postseason if it's an 8 seed format like last year, but Francisco Lindor is not the type of player that gets us over the edge. At least not yet. Especially if we have to trade somebody like Lourdes. And that's who's eventually going to go. Maybe even some additional prospects. And leave your comments below because I'm curious what the viewers think. Would you rather have Francisco Lindor or would you rather have you Darvish? And going on to that, let's talk about how you, uh, Lindor could affect the Jays' lineup for next year and how the Jays could benefit from him. Well, with that average, that home run power, you could see their lineup definitely change for next season. You see Biggio leading off, followed by Bo Bichette. Then you have Lindor. Then you have T. Oscar. Then you have Vladdy. And the list goes on there. So that starting five there is really dynamic for the Jays and really builds on their offense and really solidifies their defense. The problem with this is Lindor will move over to shortstop, which means that Bo Bichette's going to be moved over to third base and Vladdy stuck at first. So complications there. Vladdy slimmed down and really conditioned himself in a way that he wants to play third base. And Bo Bichette has been vocal saying that he'd like to stay at shortstop and develop there. So by trading for Lindor, you might be ending up irritating two of our premier prospects moving forward. So not a great deal for one year. Additional to that, I always say, why don't we just hold off? Just sign a mediocre third baseman for one or two years. Allow Vlad to play third and first. See where he really develops. Give Bo a chance at shortstop. Maybe add Jackie Bradley for center field and make JT Real Muto our big upgrade of the season. Take 2021 as another building block, get us into the postseason, let the kids learn, and then when 2022 opens up, really open up the wallets and make that big splash or trade happen. That's what I hope happens. Maybe I'm wrong and Lindor goes to other teams that could be interested in him, and those other teams include the Mets and the Dodgers. So either one of those could easily pick up Francisco Lindor. But book it, Lindor is going to be traded before the season starts, and there's a very good chance he's coming to the Jays. Thanks for listening to me vlog today and ramble on. Stay safe, everybody. Hit subscribe, and we'll talk soon. Take care.